There's supposed to be another haunting connected with Fenella Cottage here, and I've heard at least two versions of it. One version was the man who bought the house, he was in bed one night and he felt something horribly cold and clammy alongside of him. And the story was that a woman who had lived there previously, she possibly committed suicide, I'm not sure, or fallen into the harbour or gone off into the sea. And this was supposed to be a, a physical manifestation of her coming back. But another version I heard, and I think this was actually from the man himself, it's the same man who was haunted by Palmer the Poisoner over in Seaforth House, was that it was actually, it sounds crazy, there's a sort of a dream logic in it. It was actually a, a, a man in RAF uniform who'd lived here previously and died. And there was also a portrait of him, and that's how he identified who it was. But while I was telling this story to a group of people, uh, a few years ago, a lady living in the house came out, and she told us a third version, which I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs>